Welcome to this series of videos uh, where we're going to look at ultrasound guided biopsy techniques and we're specifically going to focus on taking fine needle aspirates um, and also uh, quickly discuss core tissue biopsies as well. Obviously in practice you're going to be doing these on uh, on, on animals but um, for, for getting used to the technique it can be uh, a nice idea to, to have a model, uh, something to practice on. So what we're going to do, we're just going to look at making uh, our own model um, and just a quick trip to the supermarket, um, pick up uh, some tofu, fresh tofu uh, in its tray and then really anything that you want to stick in. Um, we've got some grapes here and also some boiled potatoes. If you're going to use potatoes, uh, it sounds silly, but it's worth boiling them. Uh, then it doesn't really work uh, very well if you don't. You can also try different things, so olives and raspberries and whatever you want to chuck out, uh, in really, uh, just to provide a target to aim for. Um, what you want to do is take the tofu out. It can get a bit messy. Um, I'm just going to lay it on the table. Get that out of the way there. And then what we're going to do is to, taking a knife, be careful please, um, just cut the to tofu in half parallel to the table surface. So we're going to end up with two thinner slabs of tofu. And we're going to pop one of them back in the tray. So I'll lift that up and pop that one back in there. And then we're going to get ourselves a couple of targets to aim for. So chuck in a couple of potatoes, have a grape or two in there as well, and obviously you can put in whatever you like really. And we'll get some ultrasound gel, so we're just going to be aiming to fill in the gaps. And we're just going to chuck loads of that ultrasound gel in there. And don't be afraid to put plenty of this in because you don't want any gaps left in there with air, otherwise you'll find you just get bright white lines on the ultrasound machine and shadowing and you won't be able to see anything. So once you've got enough gel in there, then you're just going to slap the top back on, onto there like that. And then all you need to do is get some cling film, wrap the whole lot up, squash it all down, uh, and you've got a perfect model for practicing fine needle aspirates.